Hi Projector, my name is Karen McMullen and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you the essentials that you need to understand about your human design aura type, the projector, in order to really honor who you are and to come into alignment with your human design. I'll be doing that in under 10 minutes as best I can and feel free after this video if you want to go more into depth on understanding being a projector to check out another video that I did that went much more into depth than what I can do in under 10 minutes. What makes a projector a projector is that there is an undefined sacral center and no connection between one of the motor centers and the throat center. In essence, as a projector, your aura, meaning the energetic presence that extends out from your body, has certain properties. And in your case, those properties are that your aura is absorbing and penetrating. What absorbing means is that your aura is taking in information from your environment. This is information that's almost like an intuitive knowing. You're gathering all kinds of information through your auric field about your environment, the people in your environment, and you're almost eating your environment. You're tasting the the energies of the people that are there. And this is true whether or not you have a lot of defined or undefined centers. This makes projectors incredibly intuitive. It means that when you walk into a room or you go to a certain place or you meet a person, you're gonna be able to read the situation in a way that's uncanny, that defies the logical mind about how you could possibly know this stuff. Being able to read a situation also means that you have this superpower to be able to guide and influence and lead according to what you perceive through your absorbing aura is required. The second property of the projector aura is that it is penetrating. So it's focused, that's another way of saying it, focused and penetrating. So it's focused and penetrating on the person in front of them. So it's very natural for a projector to zero in on something specific and to want to say and give information that they perceive. So they're giving kind of feedback in a really targeted and specific way. It's important for you to understand that when you speak, and the feedback that you offer is very penetrating to the receiver, meaning that it really kind of goes right in. And depending on whether or not they're really ready to hear what you have to say is gonna determine how they react. On the positive side, when someone's really ready to hear what you have to say, it can be life-changing and extremely valuable to them. On the negative side, if they're not ready to hear it, it can be very damaging, irritating. They could reject you and be upset at you. For this reason, the suggested strategy for the projector to honor their aura type and these specific properties that I just mentioned is wait for the invitation. Meaning that you wait to be invited before you share your perceptions and before you offer your guidance and feedback. Really, before you do your magic. This is suggesting that the magic of who you are is gonna be really best received when people are ready and welcoming of it. And in contrast, it's not likely to be well received unless it's been asked for. If you take nothing from this but the invitation to practice and experiment with waiting for invitations and noticing when you're invited and when you're not invited and then experimenting with that, that is the most important thing for you to take from understanding your human design aura type. Now, how will you know when you have received an invitation? 
One of the main ways that a projector can understand this cue of wait for the invitation is to notice when they are recognized. Recognition can be thought of as the main currency that the, the projector is dealing in. So this goes both ways. One, the projector has a gift of recognition. They see everything. This is part of the absorbing aura, but also they just have a gift with seeing. They can, they can really see clearly the big picture and how every, everything fits in it. They're really also systems thinkers. They like to understand the broader view and how all the pieces are going together and they can see efficiency. This makes them incredible leaders and they can really recognize talent. So if they see someone and they're like, oh wow, this person really has a gift here. They fit well with the whole or, you know, this isn't quite working. So they have this real gift with recognizing. On the other end, they're also meant to be recognized. They're meant to be seen. They have a shininess about them that makes them very visible. So they're almost like this emanating light that's just kind of their aura saying, recognize me, see me, here I am, I'm amazing, I have some great things to say that are gonna make this whole thing work a lot better. Ask me what I think. That's what their aura is saying. They're here to be recognized. And so you can trust as a projector that people are gonna recognize you, they're gonna see how awesome you are, and that you can relax and, and wait for that invitation. So you'll know that you're receiving an invitation when you feel recognized, when you feel seen, you feel like whoever's there is getting you. And once you've received an invitation, then you can go to your decision-making authority to decide on whether or not it's right for you. So when you look at your chart, you'll see a little section that says authority, and there'll be a specific description there of the type of authority that you have. And then you can go on this channel, I have more videos about the various authorities. Invitations are for the big things in life, such as where do you live? What job do you have? Who is your partner, your romantic partner? What projects you involve yourself in? So for those bigger things, waiting for the invitation is really important. Once you've been invited into something such as a job, let's say you're a boss of, of people, then you can just do your thing. Keep doing your thing. As long as you're continuing to be recognized in your role, you're all good. The moment that recognition stops happening and you start to feel that people aren't getting you or aren't valuing you and your contributions, that's when you know that potentially that invitation has reached its expiration date. The signature for the projector when they're really doing well with giving the feedback when they're invited and following their invitations is success. They're here to have successful interactions where the value that they have to offer, the immense value, is really well received by the other party. Unfortunately, the signature when they aren't doing that is bitterness, bitterness of having that value that you have to share not be well received, be met with resistance and potentially rejection or even frustration or anger because uh, what you've offered wasn't really welcome. In your personal relationships, you can even practice noticing when people are really welcoming, receptive to what you have to share and when they kind of reach their capacity. They might be able to receive one or two pieces of feedback but they might not be able to receive the whole discourse of all of the things that you are aware of that they need to know. And so notice when they reach their limit and stop. That's gonna allow them to continue to be receptive to you in the future. As a projector, you have a special relationship with generators. Projectors can help generators use their energy well, which is the whole point of the generator's life. So it's important for you to really understand generators, what they are, how they function, so that you can be an expert at really helping them and helping them to honor their life force. So please go watch the videos on this channel about generators, learn about generators, 
so that you can be masterful at serving and helping generators. Thanks so much for being here with me. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'd love if you comment below and introduce yourself. Let me know any feedback that you have on the video. Please be kind and take care. Much love. Bye.